Hi, everybody. So today I wanted to talk to you about what I think is the very first step in healing from candida or really any chronic illness if you're on a restricted diet for health reasons. And so I want to start by asking you, have you accepted the fact that you're dealing with this condition? And I think the answer to that question determines the outcome of your illness to a huge extent. So hi everybody, I'm Ricky Heller from rickyheller.com and I help people on restricted diets learn to love their food again and so that they can stop focusing so much on the food and really get back to a life that is a thriving life in the real world. And so I ask that question because I think especially this time of year, for so many people, I know it's so challenging to be dealing with like all this food around us all the time. And I hear from so many people who are upset that they can't partake the way they used to before. And there's always this kind of temporary mentality where um, it's not fair that I should have to eat this way and I can't wait till I can get back to eating the way I was before. And what that does is it really puts you in a mindset of not being in the real situation, which is for whatever it is for you. Like for me, it's having chronic candida symptoms. It might be the same for you. It might be um, Lyme disease or Crohn's or something like that. But as long as we're focusing on why we can't do what we want to do, right, um, and all the things we're not able to do, that puts us into this mentality of not actually accepting the reality. So I think the first step, and I want you to try this exercise and tell me what comes up for you. You can put it in the comments and let me know because I think this is so important and it can be so helpful, is I want you to play the what if game. So sit down by yourself and just think to yourself, what if nothing ever changes with my health? What if these symptoms that I have today are here for good and I'm never going to be any better than I am today physically? And when you really sit with that, it can be a little bit of a scary thought, right? Because who wants to believe that? But I think that can put us into a mindset where we really understand what it means to accept the truth and the reality of the situation. And by accepting where you are today, that doesn't mean you have to like it, right? I'm not thrilled with the fact that I sometimes have flare-ups or that, you know, if I mistakenly eat the wrong thing or even not mistakenly eat the wrong thing, that I can have symptom flare-ups. And the fact that 20 years in, my symptoms are not 100% gone. I'm not thrilled with that. However, I've accepted that fact. And so it can make a huge difference if you, and, and so when I say you don't have to like it, what I mean is acceptance really equates to acknowledging the reality. It puts us in a place of reality. And once we are there and we know the facts and understand the facts and embrace the facts, that actually sort of paradoxically can let us move on even more effectively. And that's often the first step to beginning to actually heal it, believe it or not. So, um, because I think it frees you from the effect of it, right? So if you've, if you've been involved in the world of weight loss, or if you've tried to lose weight and, and gone through certain kinds of weight loss, oftentimes a lot of the newer approaches will say to you, you have to love yourself as you are today in order to start losing weight. And what that really just means is you have to acknowledge and accept the reality of the fact that where you are now might be overweight. It might not be the exact body that you wish you had, but it's that acknowledgement and that acceptance that then allows you to actually start losing weight because you start from a place of love for yourself. And I think dealing with candida and chronic candida is very, very much the same, that we need to get away from our constant focus on the symptoms and what's wrong with us and just say, okay, this is it. How am I going to focus on all the other parts of my life that are positive so that I don't have to be sitting in this mindset of neg negativity that is going to drag me down and prevent me from really moving forward? Um, so I think of it, um, if, you, if you sort of think of the analogy of 
especially at the holidays, right? We, we might all have this relative that comes to the party, that's part of the family, that maybe, you know, people kind of roll their eyes when he walks in the room. I'm going to call him Uncle Ed, even though I'm making up the name and, you know, I'm, I'm not thinking of anybody specific. But let's say Uncle Ed is the one who maybe drinks too much or asks the inappropriate questions <laughs> or speaks too loudly and kind of disrupts the party, right? And people roll their eyes and they try to avoid him and they try to make sure that they're not there when Uncle Ed is there. But the thing is, if you just accept that Uncle Ed is part of the family and he's going to be there no matter what, and you just sort of learn to live with it and, you know, say something to him that doesn't really incite any kind of aggravated response. You say hello, you move on. He's in the background. He's doing his thing but he doesn't disrupt the party anymore in the same way. And he doesn't affect you the same way anymore. Well, I think it's the same thing when we actually accept the fact that these symptoms are there, they're part of our life, and we can just move on. It becomes this neutral thing that's kind of in the background, just like Uncle Ed. And so for me now, my symptoms, it's there's never that same panic when a symptom flares up that I used to have before. This is just part of the way I operate day to day and what that allows you to do is move on to a point where you can actually start focusing on all the other things and developing all the other aspects of your life and that's why I said at the beginning of this that you can thrive even with candida you can thrive with whatever condition you have whatever symptoms you might have because um, what you're doing is actually building all the positive and as those symptoms recede into the background, again, paradoxically, what ends up happening is your symptoms start to resolve. And that's when you can really truly start to get better. So I think it's really important to be realistic about our situation. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying you have to accept it and it's not a life sentence, but by saying in this moment here and now, this is the way I feel and these are the symptoms in my life, and I'm going to acknowledge that as being true and real and factual, then I can put them aside and I can go on to live my life, go and enjoy the holidays and not worry about those things and do the best you can with all the positive in your life. So I hope that's helpful. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but I want you to try it and let me know how it goes. And I'd love to hear um, if you do that exercise what comes up for you, right? Do you feel panic? Oh, oh no, I, if this really is the way I have to be for the rest of my life, I can't deal with it. Because in reality, people are amazingly adaptable. And the things that we think of as so big when they first come into our lives, down the road, they are just like a little blink in the background. So and that can happen with almost anything. And as I said, for me, my symptoms now are just this sort of neutral thing in the background. They never affect me emotionally and psychologically the way they used to ever anymore. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, I do want to say um, I have a special offer on now till the end of the holiday. So if you're having some challenges dealing with this kind of thing or any other aspect of going through the holidays with a chronic condition and food restrictions, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching, which I don't usually offer except for three or six month packages, but I'm offering just like a one hour sort of very concentrated coaching session because so many people have been asking me specific questions that they want answered and I don't usually do these short kind of sessions. So if you have something that's going on in your life or something around the candida diet or food restrictions, it's open to any question you have. This is a one hour session that you can do with me. It's called the Holiday Breakthrough and you can sign up. It's um, an amazing price right now for $229. Normally a three month coaching with me is $2,500. So if you've been wanting to ask me these questions, if you've been wanting to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, this is the time to do it because they're only open till December or when the, the spots sell out, whichever one comes first. So if you go to rickyheller.com forward slash HBS for holiday breakthrough session, um, that's the page where you can sign up. And as soon as that goes through, you'll get a link to my scheduler and you can schedule a session with me. I've got 
I've opened up a whole bunch of spots between now and um, the beginning, I guess the first week of December, so that I can speak with people and try to help as many people as I can before the holidays are truly upon us. So think about that too. I hope I will hear from some of you and let me know how that exercise works out for you. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.